gouvernement. Ah, ils ne veulent pas écouter, évidemment. Malheureusement, nombreux sont les exemples du manque d'intégrité de ce gouvernement. Nous avons la preuve que des sommes substantielles ont été offertes à Jim Hart, alors député de l'Alliance, pour qu'il cède sa place au ministre de la Sécurité publique. Pourquoi le gouvernement qui a mis de l'avant la loi sur la responsabilité refuse-t-il de respecter sa propre loi Honorable leader du gouvernement à la Chambre. You know, the Liberal Party has been in serious trouble for the past little while. It hasn't just been a matter of leadership, it hasn't just been a lack of policy, it's been a lack of scandals. And every single scandal they chase does not exist. The one about Chuck Cadman, his own words say it doesn't exist. The one about the Minister of the Environment, the police say it doesn't exist. The one they're talking about now with Jim Hart, exact same thing. The police say it does not exist. And I could go on and on and on. It's a very, very sad party that lacks no policy, no leadership, no issues. They should get back to work and figure out what they do before they come to work. Quand l'adjoint la, législatif de M. Cadman a bien dit que toutes les paroles de la veuve de M. Cadman étaient vraies. Donc je me demande où est-ce qu'on s'en va avec ça. Les exemples de manœuvres douteuses ne s'arrêtent pas là où je l'ai dit. Un ancien député de la circonscription du Premier ministre lui-même, Ezra Levent, a aussi reçu une somme importante d'argent pour qu'il cède sa place à qui Au Premier ministre lui-même. Ce gouvernement ne semble avoir aucune gêne à bafouer les règles élémentaires et ne semble aucunement se préoccuper <coughs> du respect. J'en perds la parole, Monsieur le Président. Oui, oui, mais le temps est expiré. L'honorable leader du gouvernement à la Chambre. Une intervention en faveur de la vérité, je suppose. Mais la réalité est, une fois encore, qu'elle est misstatée. L'assistant de M. Cadman a issu un statement qui était très clair. He was not in the office during any such meeting. So, obviously, what she's stating and what has been reported is again untrue. But that's consistent with everything we're hearing on each one of these issues. They won't talk about the budget that they support or against. They're moving a non-confidence motion in, even though they want it to pass. Nothing reigns on that side except for confusion. And the thing that makes the most angry of all is the fact that this is a clean government with a strong economy, with a balanced budget that's doing what Canadians. The Honourable Member for London West. Order, please. The Honourable Member for London West has the floor. Order. Mr. Speaker, we are now aware of the disturbing and an unseemly pattern of behaviour on the part of people deeply involved with this government. The Conservatives promised Alan Riddle $50,000 to step aside for a candidate favoured by the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister claimed there was no deal. Gee, we've heard that. But a judge ruled the deal did exist and ordered the Conservatives to pay up. Why does this government feel it can buy anyone who gets in its way? The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, again, we have one after another after another of imaginary scandals. All imaginary because they're about Conservatives, and the fact is, this is a clean government. This is a government that brought in the toughest Accountability Act measures that put to an end the kind of practices that we used to see, whether it be the sponsorship scandal, deep in the trough patronage, the kind of unfortunate politics of the old era. Well, in 2006, the page was turned, and Canada has a new government that does what it says it will do, delivers credible, capable appointments, respects the law, and simply doesn't uh, spend time dwelling in scandals that don't... The Honourable Member for London West. Thou dost protest too much. They still haven't learned their lesson. If someone stands in their way, they try and buy them off. We also have the Conservatives involved in allegations of tempting a municipal candidate with a federal job right here in Ottawa. Does the Prime Minister approve of offering inducements, or is he still trying to distance himself from every new revelation of Conservative wrongdoing? Honourable Government House Leader. You want to know how bad the Liberals are, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to scandal-mongering? They raise the issues, they tell the police to go chase them down, the police investigate and say, guess what? This government is clean, its ministers are clean. And what do they do? They accuse the police of being involved in cover-ups. Come on, you know, get with it. We don't control the OPP. We have a clean government. 
Their scandals usually relate to appointments that aren't made, contracts that aren't delivered, political interference that never happened. It's nothing, 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 just like their policies, just like their leadership.